Today we're going to be talking about utilizing some of our boxing techniques for as punches coming at you. We try to make it as simple as possible. There's two ways someone can punch at you. One is straight, whether it's the jab or the cross. They're coming right down the middle with those straight punches. And then the other one is they're going to come around with the punches, like the around kick, or what we call the sucker punch, our number one, our number two angle attacks from there. Whether that's a tight hook or something we call a looser hook or a street hook or a palm hook. So I'm going to start in my guard position. I'm going to show you from a guard position, then we'll talk about how we modify that for the street, if we're not already in a guard position. So from there, this is what we call the elbow up the fence. I'm using my lead arm. What I'm going to do is it's almost like I'm slicking my hair back right from there. And I come up. So a couple key things you want to think about. Slick the hair back. Grab the back of your head or neck for support. If I turn away, you can see when I come up, I'm grabbing back here to help support that and keep that nice and tight. Slick the hair back, grab the back of your head. At completion, that elbow should be pointed straight ahead. I don't want it out here. I don't want it over here, right from there. And that's important that we make that nice and tight. If I'm turning this direction, you want this area here to be as small as possible. If it's big, it's easy for a punch to come through and strike you right in the temple, the ear, or the jaw. The idea with that is we want to absorb it on the arm, the meat of the arm, as much of the meat as we can have there, rather than taking it straight to with no protection right to the side of the head. So from here, the lead arm, elbow up the fence and back. A good guide, if you can look in a mirror, is notice how my elbow is up as high as my forehead. If I only come this high, there's room to hit over top. I don't want to come up too high or I leave the jaw exposed. So right there and back down, up and back, up and back. Very little movement to the body other than with that arm. That rear hand, that cover hand, is going to stay right there. Up and back, and up and back. With that elbow defense, we have it with the lead arm. That would be someone coming to my left ear, number one angle attack. If they're coming on the other side, I'm going to use my rear arm. Follows the same basic mechanics as the front arm, except I'm going to pivot or turn my body as if I'm throwing across. Right there. Same rules apply. Slick the hair back. Grab the back of your head. Elbow points straight ahead. This stays tight to my temple. My jab hand comes back to protect my jaw. Turning to the side. Rear arm. Right up. Again, keep this folded tight. All right? Small window here. And so we can take the force there. And realize this. If someone big and strong, aggressive, is really coming at you, when you absorb that, that may move you off your base. That's why you want to make sure you have a good guard position. And granted, this isn't going to feel pretty, but it's much better taking here. Sometimes it's the lesser of all the evils that we have to deal with. I'd rather take it on the arm here rather than right to the head, temple, ear, jaw, or even the side of the neck. So rear arm, elbow up the fence. We pivot the body forward. If I turn 45 degree angles, you can see body pivots. Keep it up. Turning this way, notice that cover hand comes right back. I keep the eyes forward and elbow up. And back, and With our elbow up blocks, if you have the lead arm and rear arm, then you want to alternate. Lead arm, rear arm. Lead arm, rear arm. And notice, minimal movement from my guard position to that blocking position. Obviously, we talked before in class, the last thing you want to do is just stand like this. Anybody can hit you when your hands are down. Even if you get the arms up in any way, even without any training, you're better off. Now with training, we know there are better ways to do that. So lead arm, rear arm, lead arm, rear arm. Practice both left and right sides. Lead arm, elbow up block, rear arm, lead arm, rear arm. Right now I'm doing this in a stationary position. Someone comes, I go right there. Later we would add footwork with it. Obviously if you can move away from an opponent, as you do that, that will also help dissipate the force. For now, just lead arm, rear arm, lead arm, rear arm. Again, lead arm and rear arm. With our elbow up defensive, we've been practicing from a guard position. Often we're not in a guard position in a street encounter. Usually when we're training self-defense techniques, we call them we start a neutral stance, a mind your own business stance. 
We're not prepared. We're just standing there anywhere, something like this. So from there, if someone's coming with that number one angle attack, I want to step back and immediately come to that guard position with the elbow up. So now we're going to make it a little more applicable to a street situation. I'm standing, the sucker punch comes in, I step back, create that distance. Remember, distance equals safety, and back, and and back. If I practice it, I'm stepping back with my right leg, lead arm blocks. Obviously, I can step back with the other side and lead arm up. So you want to put some time in, some reps. Again, 5, 10, 15 reps right from there. You're going right to that protection position, right? And then from there, we would come back to our guard and we start adding some follow-up strikes. If you step back and do the lead arm, you could step back and do the rear arm right from there. Depending on how you're stepping, what you see out of the corner of your eye coming, and back. So you would practice some of those. Step back. Whatever leg you step back with, that arm is coming up. The other hand comes back to protect right from there. Now, if you don't know which is coming, there's nothing wrong with bringing both hands up to protect. That's like the holy crap type of block. Whoa, I get both arms up. Any way you can get them up is better than no way at all, right? Up and then right to your guard position. Up and back. When in doubt, it's almost like we tell people like you're lounging on the beach, except you put the elbows forward. Not that they could still work slightly outside. You just don't want that punch to come inside those elbows. So practice lead arm, practice rear arm, and as the offshoot of all that, when in doubt, both arms, and then right to that guard position. Now we want to go into the five basic combinations you want to know after executing that lead arm elbow up block. When we're practicing these techniques, you have two ways. One is to already be in that guard position. I'm going to angle off to the side. The other is to start in a neutral position, step back and block. Obviously, we want to work to that eventually. First one, I'm going to start in a guard position here. My left leg is toward the left corner. Elbow up block, cross hook, Muay Thai knee. So practice, elbow up, Muay Thai knee. Again, elbow up, Muay Thai knee. Turn it to the side, see it from here. Elbow up, Muay Thai knee. Elbow up, Muay Thai knee. Angle 45 here. Remember, we're going to keep this tight. We don't want a lot of space there. Elbow up, and Muay Thai knee. Combination number two, elbow up lock, cross hook, Muay Thai elbow, reset, Muay Thai knee. So elbow up, cross hook, Thai elbow. Remember, we're going to cover on top of the head with that elbow. Once we do, reset to that guard position, take that step back in. Muay Thai knee, elbow up, elbow and Muay Thai knee from the side, elbow up, Muay Thai elbow, Muay Thai knee again, elbow up and remember you want to develop a nice flow, reset, Muay Thai knee, 45 degree angle other side, elbow up and Muay Thai knee. Combination number three. Elbow up lock. Three punches. Cross, hook, cross. Pendulum kick to finish. If that opponent backs off, but they still might be pursuing, we want to get that kick in before we escape. Elbow up. Pendulum kick. Now remember, that can be a front kick. Low, shin, knee, groin. Same thing with the round kick. Practice both. And back. Elbow up lock. Cross, hook, cross. Muay Thai round kick to the knee. Elbow up. Front kick to the shin. Turning more to the side. Elbow up. Pendulum front kick. Elbow up. Cross, hook, cross. Pendulum round kick. 45 degree angle. Same combination. Elbow up. Cross, hook, cross. Right from there. We flow into that round kick or front kick. And back. 
And one more. Combination number four. Elbow up lock. This is going to be close quarter technique. Elbow, elbow. Muay Thai knee. Elbow up. And Muay Thai knee. Remember, with those Muay Thai elbows, that hand covers on the forehead. Covers the forehead. And knee. Go back and watch our Muay Thai combination and elbow video for a little more detailed instruction. Elbow up. And knee. From the side. Elbow up. Muay Thai knee. Elbow up. Muay Thai knee. 45 degree angle, other side. Remember, keep this folded tight. We don't want the space where they can sneak it in. Elbow up. And back. Elbow up. And one more time. Elbow up. Combination number five. We're going to combine some of those. Elbow up. Cross hook. Elbow, elbow. Muay Thai knee. Reset. Pendulum front kick or round kick to finish. So, and back. Remember, keep those hands up with the punches. Cover the forehead with the elbows. Step, knee, reset, and pendulum kick, low, middle, or high, being the groin level, to finish. Again, and good. Turn it to the side. Right from here, elbow up, cross hook, elbow, elbow, knee, reset, pendulum kick to finish. Elbow up, and one more time, elbow up, hanging off the other side, remember, fold that tight with that block, elbow up, cross hook, elbow covering the forehead, elbow covering the forehead, both hands step in, with that knee, reset, pendulum kick to finish. Now when you're practicing these, again, 5, 10, 15, 20 reps each side. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Repeat those basic combinations. Again, take notes, write them down. Practice the number one combination, your five reps this stance, five reps this stance, and then move through all your techniques. I can guarantee you, you practice this, make it second nature, much better able to defend yourself in the street. As a final word with our elbow up defense, once you have it from the guard position, Go back and start in that neutral position and repeat all those techniques. So now you're tying it all together. Stepping back, lead arm up. And then go to the other side immediately. So going left and right, one rep each side, really will help cement and ingrain that information. So when it's time, you're going to have it in your system prepared to use for self-defense.